Tick tock goes the clock. All right, listen, you can get new friends. You can make new money. You can get new customers, new employees, but the one thing that you can't get more of is time. There are 24 hours in a day, 168 hours in a week, and that just is what it is. And so I want to talk a little bit about a few strategies here to help you approach your week like a badass to make sure that you can use this resource uh, to your benefit. All right, so strategy number one here, strategy number one about using your time and planning your week like a badass is you got to be honest about your time. A lot of people talk about, oh, I'm overwhelmed and I don't have any time. I don't have any time. I'm so busy. I don't have any time. Okay, so here's what I need you to do. You got to own this. You got to get honest about your time. And the first thing you do with that is track your time for two weeks. Track how you use it. The people that do this that I work with typically on the end of a couple weeks have their eyes open to how much time they really waste on things that are not, not important. So before you start whining and griping about not having any time and being overwhelmed, take some inventory and get the facts, Jack. All right, second thing, um, you've got to get clarity about what you really, really, really want. Do you only want to work 16 hours a week and make $150,000 a year? If that's what you want to get clear on, then get clear on it. Maybe you want to grow your profit by 200% in the next year. Okay, clarity or lack of clarity is an absolute um, thief of time because we're running around spending time on things that are not getting us closer to the things that we want. On the other side of this clarity equation is you've got to get clear on the things that you don't want. How do you not want to spend your time? Listen, I don't want to babysit my employees. Um, I, don't, I don't want to drive around wasting a bunch of time doing estimates anymore. I don't, I don't want to work for people that are a pain in the ass. Whatever it is, you've got to get clear on what you want and what you don't want. All right, third thing. This is a killer right here. This is the one. This is, this is the money maker for you. I need you, you need you to rank the things you do. Okay, so the letter I, there's four letters, I, C, E, S, Ices. Ah, that sucks. Anyway, so the letter I are the things that you're incompetent doing. You suck at them and you don't enjoy them. The C is the things that you're competent, you're okay at doing them at, but you know, you could take it or leave it, you're not that fired up about doing them. The letter E are the things that you do with excellence, uh, but they don't really energize you. And the S is your sweet spot, the thing that you feel like you were born to do. Okay, and what you do is once you track how you've used all of your time in the week, you then assign one of those letters to each category there. Okay, so uh, one of my clients, and in one of my blog posts that I recently put up, one of my clients had... Um, nine hours, nine hours that he spent himself on something that he sucks at during the week, and it was uh, basically answering his phones and entering crap in his CRM system, okay? Um, he spent 10 hours setting up jobs in his competent section where, hey, I'm okay at this, but I don't really enjoy it, okay? So what we found when we did this exercise is that he was spending... 62% of his time in this particular week, and this was a typical week for him, he spent 62% of his time doing crap that he's either not good at or he doesn't enjoy. And that's not why you started your business. And even if it was why you started your business, it's not the most effective uh, and efficient way for you to grow your business and make money and a profit and all that stuff. So my advice to him on ranking this stuff and how you use your time uh, and the other end of it was, dude, you got to outsource this 62% crap and then find your sweet spot where however many hours you're going to put in in a week, 80% 80 of those hours and better should be spent in your sweet spot. Okay, his sweet spot, uh, just to give you an example for that, was prospecting and coaching his team. Those were the things that he, when he does, he feels like he's alive. And in this week that he worked 58 hours, 
He only spent five hours doing those things, so 9% of his time. Okay, it has to be flipped the other way. Okay, so is this easy to do? Um, no. Is the concept simple? Absolutely yes. And that leads us to the last point here that I want to talk about how you can approach your week like a badass. And that's you have to be committed to being disciplined with this. It doesn't say, take a genius for us to see that this could be useful and it makes sense. But the rubber hits the road when you have a decision to make on whether you're going to honor this commitment that you're making to yourself. So what you need to do is you need to put this on your calendar and treat it like your sweet spot stuff, right? Okay, if it's prospecting or whatever, I am gonna do this and I'm gonna treat it like it's a sales appointment with a client. And anything else that has to be done in the week, I'm gonna fit in around that stuff. You have to be disciplined. Your level of discipline is gonna make or break you, all right? Um, say no more than you say yes. One of the common traits among the billionaires of the world is they're masters at saying no to the crap that doesn't get them closer to where they want to be. All right, Bite the bullet and outsource all those other things that you suck at, that you're competent at, or that you even do well but you shouldn't be doing. All right, And only work in your sweet spot. And a side note here, as I mentioned in my blog post recently, guys, I have five people on my team that work, work with me and work for me that... They're all rock stars at the things that I suck at and the things I hate to do. And so we try to have about a 30 minute meeting a week where we all get on the same page and then I cut them loose and I get the heck out of their way. So I highly recommend doing that. So listen, discipline is gonna be the key. You know what you want deep down. And right now you might be fumbling through it going, oh, I don't know what I really want, it's hard to get clear. But I think if you really listen to yourself, get away for a day and go, what do I want in my life? What do I not want in my life? Take control of your calendar. That's gonna be the thing that's gonna move your business forward. It's gonna help you reclaim the dignity that you need to reclaim as we fight this contractor fight. We'll see you next time.